Okay. Good evening, ladies. I'm so sorry that my live was not working tonight. Um, like I even got even dressed up in my Saint t-shirt for you guys. But anyways, it's fine. I'll just post this video and you guys can watch it. I know it's not quite as fun as the lives, but it is what it is. I don't know what the hell's wrong with my internet. Anyways, quick intro since, I don't know, maybe some of you know me. I'm Lindsay. I grew up in Rocky Mountain House and now I live in Weyburn, Saskatchewan. I am married to a wonderful husband named Chuck and I have three kids and they're crazy busy and I do all the things. I teach figure skating, I teach power skating, I do nails and I kind of got swept into this little biz of, of Saint makeup and I super love it. So tonight we are going to do an eyeshadow look and you guys picked this combination of Rome, You Complete Me, Gilded, and Salem, and then the Sandstone Lip and Cheek. So I'm going to get that on my face for you. Um, earlier tonight, I went ahead and did my five-minute face, and I primed my eyelids with my highlight, so my foundation. It's like a two-for-one, so it's great. You don't have to go and buy yourself a primer because your highlight is your primer. And so then um, on the live, I was dusting my eyes with Rome. That's the lightest color, okay? So I'll just go in there and pretend to do that again. So I'm dusting with Rome. That was this, this little guy right here. And then I'm gonna do a quick high crease with uh, You Complete Me. Oh, I don't like had a brain fart there. So when I do high crease, I leave my eyes open so that I, when I'm like looking at someone, they're able to see my makeup. Um, because if I close my eyes and I go right into that crease, when I, when I open them, no one's going to see that. So I actually want people to be able to see the work that I put into my eyelids. Make sense? Okay. So I'm just doing a high crease. So a little bit above the crease, and then I'm just gonna drag that down onto my lower lid on the outer corner a smidge, okay? And that is with the eyeshadow, not just the eyeshadow brush now, um, and with the fluffy end, okay? They're, all of our brushes are double-ended. The eyeshadow brush is amazing. It makes doing these looks awesome. Like, I don't know, a cool child could do eyeshadow looks with, with this brush. Okay, now I'm tapping into Salem. It's really dark, okay? This one, right here. And I'm gonna apply that to the outer corner of my eye. And I'm actually using my smudge brush. Okay, again, it's double-ended. There's a flat end and a dome end. I'm just taking the flat end and I'm creating a bit of an angled crease. Not, not a crease, just an angled shadow look. I don't know what to call it actually. I'm angling it. I'm angling it from my crease down to my lid. Okay. Down to my eyelashes. Like so. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to do that to the other side as well. This side for me is much harder. Wish I was ambidextrous and could do this with my other hand. And I'm trying not to get any fallout because it creates havoc with my makeup that I've already put on. So ideally, like in the morning when I'm doing my makeup, <laughs> looks funny. Um, I actually do my eyes first and then I go in and do my five minute face so that if there is fallout, I don't have to worry about it. It's not going to be a problem. I totally have black on the end of my nose. Okay, so, and I know that this one's a little bit crazier than this one, but we'll blend it out anyway. It's fine. Okay, so then I'm going to go in, so this is, this is Salem on the outer corners of my eyes, okay? Now I'm going to go into Gilded with the pointy end of my eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to start to just kind of create another line blending into Salem, okay? So, like so. 
and then taking it up just into that crease like that and kind of blending into the dark Mm-hmm, mm -hmm, like that, see? It's kind of scary, but I promise it generally always works out. <laughs> we'll see, I'm not, I'm not like a trained makeup artist, but I have been playing around with it quite a bit lately and I have quite the collection of, of colors in my palette. I've become a, um, a saint whore, I call myself sometimes. Brush whore, saint whore, I have all the brushes. Um, I believe I actually have all the eyeshadows as well. And I ordered the advent calendar, which came out, I think like in November. And it's like all limited edition eyeshadows. Oh, so pretty. But it's like, um, you know, if you got an extra 250 bucks to drop, you should go and buy it because it's it's fantastic. I'll actually show it to you guys after. Okay, so that is gilded. I threw it into kind of another diagonal line, blending it into my Salem. Now I'm going with my flat tipped multitasker brush. I use this for lipstick, for eyeshadow, for contouring. Like it's, it's a multitasker, it's used for everything. And I grab the flat end and some Rome and I'm popping that just into my inner corner and bottom lid, like so. And we're gonna end up blending that all together. Okay, so same on this side. Inner corner, blending it into the You Complete Me so that we have no harsh lines. We don't wanna have any harsh lines. Okay. So here we are, back to blending. Okay, so I'm back with my eyeshadow brush. I'm taking the fluffy end, and I'm gonna dip into the You Complete Me. Again, I hope I've had these names right as I'm doing them. And I'm gonna go back and start with my high crease again. Okay, and I'm gonna work outer corner to inner. Outer to inner. And we can go back in and layer if we want to get it a little darker or we need to lighten it up a smidge. But I think it actually will be pretty good. So you complete me. I'm going back into my high crease and then I'm just going to work my way down and pull that Salem, the darkest color, in towards my the center of my eye and just kind of help melt it all together. Oh, yeah, that looks better. Okay, see, not as scary. I'm trying to, I really should have put my contacts in this morning to be doing this. Oh, well, it is what it is. You girls get the gist. It's not like I'm going out on a date night or anything, not with COVID the way it is. Okay, so I think that this is pretty good. What do you think? I'm trying to look. I need to look at my compact because it gets a little crazy. Actually, I think I'm gonna go back into the Gilded and just bring a little bit more into that middle shadow part or the middle part of my eyelid and along the crease. Kind of darken that up a smidge. Yeah, I like it. I wish I could be talking to you ladies right now, asking you how your days were. We have been still allowed to play the sports. So my kids are still practicing hockey, not playing games. And I'm still teaching all the things. Okay, now I'm gonna need to blend again. Blending this way, the light out to the dark. Um, and we, Chuck and I put in a skating rink in our backyard 
and it is awesome. We even drew like lines and put a logo on it. So it's, it's amazing. So the boys have been like out there every, every day after school and our kids are still in school too, which is awesome every other day. So they're home with me, I think tomorrow. They were in school today. Okay, so eyelids are done. Okay, this side might be a little bit crazier than this, but not too bad. It's actually really pretty and neutral. I like it. Okay, now to do the eyeliner. I'm going to take the line brush. This is actually my eyebrow pencil, and it has this like super fine tip to end, and I'm gonna spray it with my stay spray, which is our setting spray. Okay, get a little wet. And then I'm gonna pop it into that Salem, which is the dark one. Oh, I may have gotten it a little too wet. It's fine. And I'm gonna do like really, really close to my eyeshadow. I just want to darken that, or to my eyelashes, not to my eyeshadow. I'm just darkening that lash line. Okay, and when you spray your um, brush with setting spray and then go into your eyeshadow, it kind of creates a paste. So it's almost like it's as good as an eyeliner. So I actually have not bought an eyeliner since I started using Saint Makeup. In fact, I actually threw out all my other makeup since I started using this stuff, just because um, Saint Makeup's so versatile, like everything can be, is dual purpose. So that's awesome. And my compact is like seriously so small. And I just love that I can like toss it in my purse or when we are allowed to vacation again, um, I'll be able to like throw it all in my carry-on bag and I'll have everything with me. So I absolutely love, love, love the idea of how versatile it is, how compact everything is. Okay, and I'm just going in on the other eye to match. Uh, boom. And then I'm gonna do, and I have one eye that is like way, I don't know, weirder to do than the other. And it's this one. I always feel like I can't get like a good outer corner with my eyeliner. So I should like watch some more videos and see if I can figure out how to do that. Anyway, always learning, always learning. Like I was, I didn't learn how to contour my face until this year. Like at 40, I learned how to contour. That's ridiculous. Okay, now I'm just going to create a halo now underneath my eyeliner. I'm gonna grab that, you complete me. And I'm just going to run like a small amount just along that lash line, just to tie all the colors from the top into the bottom and kind of soften that, soften the, the eyeliner line, if that makes sense. Oh, I just about poked myself in the eye. Nice. And to finish off, I'm going to take the small tipped end of my multitasker and go into the roam. And I'm going to just do a quick inner corner with it to just brighten that up, kind of open up my eyes a little bit. So inner corner and inner corner of the bottom lash line as well. Okay. And there we have it. Now, we do not sell mascara. So, just blow your hair back with whatever you wanna use. Um, I use a little bit of everything, actually. Um, mostly, 
mostly I use um, Mary Kay, but I just picked up this 4D um, mascara from Unique because I had a girlfriend that was selling it and she bought some product off me. So I, in return, bought some product off her. So it's perfect. Love supporting all the women and all the things that they want to do and especially during this crazy time of COVID and some of us aren't working or it sucks. But it is what it is. So anyways, and I actually quite like it. Um, it takes a few coats, but you can get like some major length. And if I was going out, I would like probably do this look and add a fake eyelash. I used to get my eyelashes done and I had an allergic reaction to the glue. And oh dear Lord, my eyes swole shut. It was so brutal. And then of course I didn't learn from that. I'm like, oh, maybe it was just like a one-time thing. So I had to do it like three times before I actually learned my lesson. Now I just do the magnetic ones. They don't bug my eyes as much. All right, now lips. So I actually will use saffron as a lip and cheek. Don't be intimidated. It's not, it's not that scary. Okay. I'm a little bit pinky. Hot. Okay. So when you put your lip and cheek on, you just throw it into the apples of your cheek. And I'm actually going to use my multitasker. I'm just going to clean it a smidge. Okay. The flat end. I did a little bit of lip contouring before I came live. Um, which I will go through with you guys. I think it's tomorrow, actually, that we do, uh, what do you call it? Lips, the lip colors and illuminators are coming tomorrow, okay? And that's a fun one. Okay. Uh, oh, Lord. Things got a little crazy there. Got a little peak on my lip. Okay. So of course I can't leave my cheeks like that. Um, blush and bronzer brush, which is oh, so nice. And if you girls are into a light coverage for your makeup, this one is perfect for you. You could use it for your blush, bronzer, and your foundation. Okay. Done. Done did. That's, that's not my good side. This is my good side. There. Lips. All right. So, Anyways, have a great night. I'm so sorry that the live didn't work. Um, I will definitely be trying again tomorrow. And if you have any questions, pop them in the comment section or send me a message. What else do we have to talk about? Giveaways, there's a giveaway. Make sure that you're commenting, liking. You can post if you want, but send in your color matches and you will get extra entries in to pour that lip and cheek giveaway. Um, and there's so many and they're so beautiful and why not it's free so all you gotta do is like and post send me a picture of yourself and you're in okay have a fantastic night ladies and i will chat with you tomorrow night bye